Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Nelva. I'm Nelva Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithnelva.com. It's Tuesday today, and it's uh, 4 o'clock on Tuesdays, and this is my new time. I go live with a sketch challenge for you. Now, this sketch will be uh, shared on Instagram and my Facebook page and group uh, in about a half hour's time. So if you miss any of the measurements or you don't see this video, the until afterwards, you'll find the sketch um, on Facebook and Instagram. So you can get the measurements in case you miss anything or you wanna save it and do it at a later time. All right, pretty easy um, sketch today. And so lots of ways that you could do this and I'll show you, uh, give you a couple of ideas as I make my card. Now I am using the Magnolia Mood uh, bundle today. It is absolutely a stunning bundle. It's one of the online exclusives that became available I believe beginning of March, um, and it's just so much fun. We are using it uh, as part of the um, my retreat next week, and I have a couple of extra kits. So if you're interested in a kit by mail, or you live close to me and you'd like to come in person, I have some spaces available. Um, and so that's one of the two bundles that we're using to make um, the cards. So the, the retreat is two different classes. And if you get it by mail, you get those two classes. You do have to have this, the bundles, well, actually the stamp sets, um, this one and the Simply Sparkling um, to go with them if you're gonna make them at home. But if you're going to come to my retreat, then, then you would use my supplies. All right, if you're interested in that, let me know, because like I said, I have a couple of spots left, but I need to know really quickly because I need to confirm food uh, for next weekend. All right, so I'm going to switch over and show you the sketch, and then we'll get started making the card. All right, like I said, a pretty simple sketch. Um, things, different things you can do with this. And so you've got your card base is either five and a half by eight and a half or four and a quarter by 11. And you've got this strip that is two inches by five and a half. And then this other strip, which can just be the rest of the card base where you can put a different color or designer series paper or something. Um, so I didn't include that measurement, but if you were going to include like another piece of cardstock over that, it would be two and a quarter by five and a half. And then a shape, or a circle or something that's about two and a half inches um, by two and a half inches, something, shape. Hey, Pam. And then a sentiment. I've said half inch by three. It really will depend on um, what you're using um, for your sentiment and how wide and long that needs to be. All right, so here is the Magnolia Mood. It's so pretty, um, this bundle. So it includes, of course, the stamp set, which has these great images and some really pretty sentiments. And then the, um, if I can get them off, the, the dies to cut out, of course, these images and these two, and then some extra dies that will cut out some gorgeous kind of oopsie, standalone um, flowers and leaves. All right, so let's get started. Now, when I think of magnolias, I think of pink. Um, I have one in my front yard. It's actually closer to being a uh, flirty flamingo berry burst color with some white on it. But I'm going to use petal pink because I really love the combination of petal pink um, and crumb cake and white. So this is my card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to score it, score it, not cut it, score it at four and a quarter. And then, of course, always fold into the mountain or the raised line. Now, I have already, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. I have already embossed this. So I just took, this is one of, I believe it's called Fun Patterns. One is flowers and one is this kind of diamond um, pattern. I just took that and pushed it in onto the front of the card and embossed that side of the card. You don't have to go as far in. And in fact, if I had only gone in, you know, two and a quarter inches, um, that might have been better because my mm, the piece of designer series paper that I'm going to put over top now has to go kind of over top of the, the raised part from the embossed, but that's okay. So I'm using, this is uh, a piece from the perennial lavender um, designer series paper, which I'm so excited has been, hmm, there it is, has been carried over. 
Um, so yeah, it's such pretty paper. So this is the piece that's got the pretty flowers, but then this this check on the back. I'm looking to see, looks like my piece. So this piece of designer series paper is going to adhere. It's just slightly too long. So I'm going to trim it once I get it glued on. So it's going to glue on aligned with the, the edges on the left side of your card base. I can need to get there. There we go. All right. And then you can just take, if you're, oh, I've got glue on my fingers now. I love this paper too, Pam. It's so pretty. So you can just take your paper snips if, if you've got a piece that's long. Now, lots you could do with this. Like I said, you could put two pieces of um, cardstock. You could do two different um, embossed um sections i guess maybe might be a little bit hard to do um with them but um piece do it like i did or two pieces of dsp up to you some you know great options i punched out um one of the circles from crumb cake this is the two and three eighths inch circle and then i'm going to do some stamping so i'm going to stamp out which image I'm going to stamp out. I think that's an artichoke flower. Did somebody tell me that? Am I imagining it? Could be that I'm imagining it, but. So it's about the right size. And then I'm going to use the happy birthday sentiment. All right. So I'm going to stamp both of these in tuxedo black. Now, I don't know if this is a distinctive stamp, but it definitely feels to me like it's a distinctive stamp. And so then I'm just gonna take and stamp this. Happy birthday. And I'm going to color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to color my artichoke using petal pink for the flower. I love it that because it has that distinctive look, I'm not sure that I've got this right, Pam. I think somebody told me it's an artichoke. All right, and so I actually don't have, I was hoping I had old olive. This is light, light misty moonlight. This might be a little, or not misty moonlight, mossy meadow. Might be a little bit dark, but that's okay. I have to, uh, I have to get a new uh, set of old olive uh, blends. My light one was uh, getting a little bit dry. So. so we'll use mossy meadow for this. And I really am just coloring. Um, I might put one kind of line down the middle with the dark, but the the mossy meadow is quite dark compared to old olive. There we go. So pretty. I'll have to take a picture of my uh, my magnolia when it um, when it's in bloom because it just is so pretty. It's kind of a little bush. It's not a big, when I lived in New Westminster on the mainland, we had a huge, I always called it a, a tulip tree because they kind of have the shape of tulips when they come out. But we had a huge magnolia tree at the side of the house um, that just was full of blossoms in the, the spring. Um, but yeah, I don't have that here. So we planted what is kind of like more of a bush than a tree at this point. It may grow big, but at the moment it's only about three, four feet tall. But it gets loaded with flowers in the spring. I've got my 
my flower cut out. Now let's find some paper snips and I'm just going to cut. Um, now my secret for this is I could have cut this piece of cardstock to be maybe five eighths of an inch by whatever length I needed. Um, but I have a really hard time stamping it straight when I do that. So I just find it a whole lot easier to stamp it and then cut cut into a rectangle. I'm not going to bother cutting cutting like I often do, fussy cutting around the letters. Okay, now I'm feeling like my, my circle is a little naked. So I'm going to do some stamping. I do have a couple of... Um, couple of leaves cut out but I'm just going to do some stamping and some leaves just stamp off this is some um, crumb cake and I'm just kind of stamping off just to give it a little bit of detail um, behind it but I do have these two these are two of the standalone leaves both a little bit different Up. So I did cut those out in advance. Oops. Oh well, that's okay. These are quite delicate, so be careful when you pull them out because you could do what I just did and rip it in half. That's okay. Nothing a glue dot won't fix because it's going to tuck in behind mine. So I'm going to put my, my uh, flower on using dimensionals like that and then I'll just take a glue dot you and you my three pieces instead of two and I will just kind of tuck these in under Underneath here, like that. Glue dots are amazing things. If you don't have glue dots or you need more, the price is going up in the new catalog, so you might want to stock up if you've got an order that you need to place. All right, so there's some leaves. sent out a newsletter today. If you're on in my newsletter list, um, there is a list of some of the things that prices are going up in the new catalog, just so that you, you know, if you are thinking about putting an order in. Um, if you're not on my newsletter list, you can go to my blog, so stampingwithmelva.com, um, and you can find, now I'm going to just tuck that underneath there um, and pop up the one end because I don't want to cover my flower. So if you go to my blog, that's stampingwithmelva.com, um, the my newsletter um, form, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, will pop up. So if you're not on my newsletter list, um, that's the way to find it. Sent one out today. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, we'll cover up that leaf. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so you can um, subscribe to my newsletter and then you get... Um, then you get the updates, and I like I said, I did send a list out of the um, items that are going up in price in the new catalog. Okay, so I've got another piece of basic white, and somewhere under my mess of things, there it is, right there, I cut another piece of this pretty paper, this crumb cake checked paper and it's going to go on so this is the inside of the card that's four inches by five and a quarter just put that down at the bottom so i've been playing a lot with petal pink um, and the colors for the retreat class are petal pink and i actually ran out of petal pink <laughs> so i'm waiting for my order to come in before i can finish cutting for the retreat um, never fails there we go so there's the inside of the card. Now these are the um, adhers I don't know what I spilled. Adhesive bat swirl dots. They are perfect. They are in kind of a cream and then petal pink and then pecan pie. And they are perfect for this color combination. There we go. 
So they're part of the a little latte um, suite that is also an online exclusive. So there we go. Hey Ruth, welcome. There is my card. If I can find my sketch, I will show you the sketch again. So there is the sketch. I stayed pretty true to the sketch, other than I moved my sentiment down a little bit just uh, so I didn't cover up that pretty flower. I could have put a ribbon on, but I think it's good enough. I think it's lovely as it is. So we will leave it like that. So there we go. Um, again, if you missed any of the measurements um, or you want to, thanks Pam. Um, if you want to grab this sketch, uh, it will go live on Facebook and Instagram uh, in about 15 minutes time. So you can find it over there. Uh, okay, so tomorrow I will be live with a technique. Uh, and then Thursday is a mystery challenge. So both of those are at um, two o'clock Pacific. I think two o'clock. Th Thursdays, gosh, things are so busy these days. Um, Thursdays, we have to take our dog into the vet a few times through the day. She's having a test done. And so we'll have to see. I think two o'clock is still going to be fine, but um, I will post an update once I know if I'm going to be later than that or a different time than that. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a great day and hope uh, that you're able to spend a little bit of time in your craft room. All right, everybody, thanks for joining. Happy stamping. Bye.